Welcome to Moia Storytime. Today we're reading God's Very Colourful Creation, published by the Good Book Company. Why not grab a copy and read along with us? Let's dive in. God's Very Colourful Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Everything was dark, but God's Spirit was there, getting ready to do something amazing. And God said, let there be light. The light was bright and blazing, shiny and shimmering, gleaming and glowing. And the dark was dusky, dim and deep. On the second day, God made the sky and the sea. The sky was azure and cobalt, periwinkle and powder blue, baby blue and midnight blue. And the sea was teal and turquoise, aquamarine and ultramarine, and sometimes sea green and grey. And on the third day, God made the dry land appear. It was brown and beige, chestnut and chocolate, tan and toop. The mighty majestic mountains were grey and granite, and purple and puce, with dots of gold and silver, ruby and emerald, and shimmering, sparkling diamond. And God told the land to start sprouting plants, and it did. Leaves that were green and yellow, and gold and scarlet, flowers and fruit that were orange and pink, and pumpkin and plum, and peach and papaya. This is good, said God. It is so, so good. And on the fourth day, God made the sun shine with glimmering golds and yellows. And at night, the moon shone with a cold grey light. And God flung the stars and galaxies into shape, red giants and white dwarfs, colourful swirling nebulas of magenta, orca and violet. This is good, said God. It is so, so good. On the fifth day, God filled the sea with fantastic creatures, goldfish and pink salmon, white bait and yellowfin tuna, and God made octopuses and cuttlefish, that could change their colour whenever they wanted to. The sky came alive to the sound of flapping wings, blackbirds and bluebirds, gold crest and green finch, dragonflies and butterflies, and practically perfect peacocks. And on the sixth day, God spoke and the animals appeared, brown bears, black widow spiders, stripy zebras, golden giraffes, red deer and baboons with pink bottoms and every colour chameleons. This is good, said God. It is so, so good. But now it's time for the best of all. Let us make people in our own image said God, and let them grow and fill the earth. And God made men and women to have beautiful and fabulous variety. Their skins would be black and brown and tan and rosy pink. Their hair would be red and blonde and chestnut and raven black. Oh, this is good, said God. It is so very, very good. And God blessed his very colourful creation, which was red and orange and yellow and green and blue and indigo and violet and pink and purple and gold and every single colour you can imagine. And on the seventh day, God rested and enjoyed the very colourful creation he had made. And so can you. Well, thank you for listening to God's very colourful creation here on Maui Storytime. 
written by Tim Thonebra, illustrated by Jennifer Davison, and published by The Good Book Company. See you next time, here on Maui Storytime. <laughs>